Well, you know, I, I, I really think that that was a, you know, heck of a game. Um, I think that you've got to give our players a lot of credit for the way they competed in the game. Uh, we obviously overcame a lot of adversity in the game. Um, two pick sixes, you know, for them. Um, gave up some big plays on defense. Um, but our players just kept battling back, you know, in the game. Uh, we gave ourselves an opportunity to tie the game. We had a chance to get the ball back at the end of the game. Um, and, um, you know, I really feel that uh, it was pretty unfair play at the end of the game. They substituted the punter as a wide receiver. Uh, so we put the punt team in. Uh, and then when the quarterback was still in there, we tried to put the defense back in. Uh, I thought they should have given us a little more time to substitute and get Waddle out as a returner. We get called for 12 guys on the field. So that was very disappointing. Uh, we're responsible for that as coaches. Uh, but it was a very unusual circumstance, uh, to say the least. And I think, you know, sometimes when you have those, that, you know, they should be viewed that way. Um, you know, the disappointing thing uh, to me is, you know, we came here with the idea that uh, we needed to play with a lot of discipline, uh, not get a lot of penalties, uh, do a great job of executing and doing our job on a consistent basis. Uh, people holding and being accountable so that we can get the kind of execution that we'd like to get. Uh, and people make uh, decisions uh, through their discipline that's going to put the team first and help the team enhance the team's chances of being successful. And I don't think we did that great. Uh, we got way too many penalties, put ourselves in a lot of bad situations, um, certainly moved the ball well enough Struggled in the red zone a little bit. Um, obviously, when you got the ball on the two-yard line and you throw a pick six and they go back 98 yards, that's a huge play in the game. And um, but you know we still battled back even after that. But um, you know we just didn't play well enough. You got to give their team a lot of credit because they fought back and did a great job in the game as well. So um, it's very very disappointing. Uh, I know our fans are disappointed. Uh, but I can promise you that our players are disappointed, uh, and we're all very, very disappointed. And it's my responsibility uh, to get our team to do these things better, uh, and that certainly will be the goal in the future. Nick, what did the officials tell you at the end of the half that allowed them to get a field goal off of one second? Well, I don't know if I should tell you that, but um, that um, the guy beside me said they won't be able to get it off anyway. And they waited and waited and waited and wound the clock, and a guy snapped the ball and kicked it, and they said it was good. So I think you can snap the ball with a second to go in a game. But um, whether they did or didn't, that's not my judgment. What do you think about the way Mac Jones played today? Uh, I thought Mac played you know, really well. I mean, we had 550 yards of offense. I thought the offensive line did a great job of blocking. We had great balance. We were able to run the ball effectively in the game. and. Uh, through it and made some big plays and you know, we struggled in the red zone a bit um, and I think you know that was the difference in the game but the two picks for touchdowns I mean um, those are the kind of plays that you never want to happen and I'm sure Mac wishes he had those back uh, but uh, he was actually pressured pretty good on the the one down on the goal line and had to get rid of the ball so um, you know, but I thought overall he did a really really good job in the game about Jalen Waddle and the kick, the kicks in. Well, um, you know, we we wanted to do the return that he scored a touchdown on. You know, the plan was to do the boundary return once and then do the field return the next one. We did the boundary return a second time and got blowed up. So then the third one we did the field return and he broke it. And um, he's a dynamic returner. He's got great speed. Um, reads the blocks well, understands, you know, how to hit these things uh, so that you can make big plays, and that was obviously a big play in the game. Nick, for those of us that don't know the nuances of special team substitution rules, you said it was a highly unusual circumstance uh, on, on the play where you got the substitution from the left. Can you just walk us through a little bit of that, why it was so unusual? Well, uh, you know, when somebody puts the punter in, you usually put the punt return team in, okay? So, um, the punter came in, but he came in and played wide receiver. Okay, so as soon as we see the guy going on the field, we put the punt return team in. 
So, but then they were just staying in a formation, I think probably just to let the clock run down and probably call time out or take a penalty to get as much time off the clock as possible. But then when we saw the quarterback was behind center, uh, which they can quick kick as well, which they did earlier in the game, um, you know, we tried to put the defense back on and we didn't have any problem subbing anybody, but Waddle was deep. He was a little late getting off. We were trying to get his attention to get him off, um, and he didn't get off fast enough. So he was the 12th guy that they um, penalized us for. But they did sub, so they should give us time to sub in those situations. And uh, whether they did or didn't, I mean, it's not my call. How different was the offense game plan today? I'm sorry? How different would, how did you adjust the offense today? Was it really uh, I don't think a lot. You know, I think that um, we definitely we're not going to put the game on Mac in terms of just throwing the ball all over the yard. Um, and we wanted to have balance in the offense. I think Sark did a great job of that. Um, you know, so we moved the ball well enough on offense to win the game. Obviously, you can't give the other team 14 points. That's a problem. Um, but, you know, we didn't make the plays when we needed to make them in the last drive. You know, we got the ball down there and um, get a penalty. Uh, so instead of being first and nine at the nine, we're back at the 15 yard line and, and now it's more difficult. Um, and then we miss the field goal. So to tie the game. For the first time in a long time now, you're not probably going to be playing for a national championship. How do you adjust the goals going forward? Well, I, I think the lesson to be learned here today is some of the things that I talked about. You know, how important it is to be a disciplined team, how important it is to be accountable and people do their job. Um, and, you know, everybody's got to make decisions that are going to enhance the team's chance of being successful. And whether you slap a guy in the head or you rough the quarterback or we don't snap the ball when we're supposed to so we get five false starts, you know, all those things to me are things that um, we need to have more discipline so that we can execute those. And I'm not criticizing anyone. Uh, I'm basically making the point that these are lessons to be learned. Uh, and when you play against good teams, that's when those things bite you. Because now you've got more to overcome than, you know, when you play somebody that's not as good at you and you just beat them because you're better than them, those things don't matter as much. Uh, we didn't play the run very well, uh, obviously, and to be honest with you, I kept asking a question is why, why are they spitting that run? And the, based on the defense that we called and the defense we were in, I thought we should be good. Uh, quarterback pulled the ball, you know, down and scored a touchdown when the guy that had the quarterback didn't take him. All right, so it was a combination that I can't really put my finger on right now relative to the execution, but somebody wasn't in their gap. Somebody didn't do their responsibility. You know, we gave up a big play right before the half, you know, on the, I thought, you know, you know, Patrick did a good job, and he's done a good job for us all year, and just got beat. You know, we're playing man to man, and he got beat. So, um, but you've got to be able to stop the run better, create situations where you make them throw it, so you have more chances to make plays on third down. What do you say, to Joseph? What do you, think, what do you say to Joseph after a play like that? I mean, obviously trying to make the kick. I mean, what do you when he goes through something like? Well, that? I don't think anybody feels any worse than Joe does about missing the kick. I mean, he works hard. He's a very conscientious guy. Uh, he's done a great job for us this year and taken over. Um, you know. One play doesn't win or lose the game. Uh, there were a lot of other plays in the game that put us in the situation that we were in. So, um, and I know nobody feels worse about it than Joe. He's, you know, a great young man. What's up? Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. Don't forget to download the ESPN app. And if you want more premium content, which you do, make sure that you subscribe to ESPN Plus.
See you soon.